Here's another great tip for the Sizzix magnetic platform. I'm going to put my magnetic platform in the machine and I am going to use one of the Sizzix framelit flippets. Now you'll notice that this is a quite large die and when I'm running this through the machine, if I were to go straight through the machine, it would kind of be more of a chop and less of a nice shear because those rollers are right here and this blade is right here. It's kind of like a speed bump in your car. You never want to go too fast over a speed bump because it kind of jolts you a little bit. What we want to do is kind of tilt this just a little tiny bit and that allows the machine to nicely shear that edge instead of having to do a big chop. So let me show you how easy that is to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magnetic platform and a cutting pad and I'm going to get a piece of cardstock and I'm going to lay that on top and I'm going to lay my die, blade it down. Now, of course, human nature makes us want it to go perfectly straight, but again, we want to tilt it just a little. But I want to show you this. Look at how strong that is. It's not going anywhere. I could even do two pieces of cardstock and run that through and it's not going to move at all. My older daughter was using it the other day and she said, it's magical, mom, because it can hold it so well. And I said, you know what? You're right. It is magical. Instead of going again straight in, we're just going to tilt this die just a little bit. So now I get a nice, not a straight, uh, not a parallel line. It's going to be a little bit skewed. So it goes through that machine just a little bit better. So now I'm going to take my second cutting pad and I'm going to run that through the machine. And see, you'll hear even less noise because it doesn't have those big speed bumps. And look at this. This die cuts and it scores. So I'm just going to fold it and fold it again on those score lines. And now I have the beginning of my new flip it card. Isn't that fantastic?